Inequality in getting treatment for head and neck cancer can arise in many ways. Differences in access to healthcare through race, ethnicity, culture and education are major factors in the fight against this life-changing disease. The Swallows Head and Neck Cancer Support Group have taken this fight head on. In the summer of 2022, Chris Curtis, CEO of The Swallows, went through a rigorous series of workshops and was successful in winning a significant grant from NHS Lancashire and South Cumbria. They were asking people to come up with ideas for what they would like some money for. Good luck to all of our presenters today. We know that you're all passionate about <coughs> the work you do. That is really what we would like you to share today, is that passion. I always thought in the back of my head, wouldn't it be nice to do a project where we really dig deep to understand what the inequalities really are. The aim was to break down these inequalities and to work with the next generation of cancer patients and caregivers through sport, universities, schools and the community. What is it that is stopping these people coming and being diagnosed and maybe then dying of head and neck cancer where they could have survived? It was run like a dragon's den. So each, each charity that was doing the collaboration had to, had to then present to a Dragon's Den and only three got selected for funding and we won the biggest award. We brought people together to talk about a certain different projects regarding the Core 20 plus 5. These issues are health inequality. Core 20 plus 5 is an NHS England drive to reduce healthcare inequalities in the most deprived 20% of the population and there are five clinical areas which require accelerated improvement. The mission statement reads, to ensure everyone, whatever their ethnicity, is aware of head and neck cancer, the signs to look for, how and where to seek diagnoses, and where to go for support and help. Creating awareness for early diagnosis in all societies could save lives, and go a long way in helping the NHS reach point four of the core 20 plus five target, that 75% of cases be diagnosed at stage one or two by 2028. If you look down at the bottom for one patient, it works out for the qualities around about 6,390 per session. Don't forget, we have 40 sessions of radiotherapy. So if you can cut out radiotherapy by early diagnosis in stage one and two, we save the NHS a lot of money. Detecting the cancer at an early stage significantly increases the chances of successful treatment and cure, and dramatically reduces the costs for the NHS. You can go around an awful lot of the head and neck cancer clinics in the UK. They'll mostly be white British. So that tells me we have a problem. But what we're going to try and do is go to the young community out there and say right let's look at sport let's look at education through universities and see if we can engage with those communities and if we can get one or two people diagnosed locally in 2028 this pilot has been a success because it could save someone's life so i'm chris curtis so this project can't be done on its own we've got to go into collaboration um i've been with blackpool council for 15 years uh, and so the collaboration we've built up with so far is blackpool council the sports team laura jenny and neil they're very enthusiastic very passionate about making a change in sport so we're really happy to collaborate with Blackpool Council. I think the co-production and the collaboration that's gone into this project so far has been invaluable. Blackpool Council and uh, the Swallows head and neck charity of a perfect combination. You know we've been championing head and neck cancer for a while so it's, a, it's been really insightful and I've learnt a lot throughout the journey. The other collaboration is Cancer Research Northwest. So what we're going to use them for is for them to put all the research side of it together so that when we come at the end of the project we can actually say that this project has worked or sport is better than education or education is better than sport. So we'll actually have quantified data to that and say this is what's going to work. In summary, tackling inequality in head and neck cancer requires a multifaceted approach. It involves improving education, access to healthcare, disparities in race and ethnicity, and promoting research. 
So in 12 months time, the team will be presenting to the International Head and Neck Cancer Conference and we would hope that we'd have such great data that NHS England will take it on and look at it on a national basis, which again would be a great result for head and neck cancer. In this 12-month pilot, the Swallows have taken their wide-ranging 24-7 support to the next level. They're not only looking after today's patients and caregivers, but tomorrow's too.